What's up guys? Welcome back to the Home Slice. We are in our second, third, no, our third round of edge testing with these Victorinox knives. The idea behind this is that I'm trying to analyze whether or not we can discern with a best testing machine, whether or not we've put a good dual grit edge on something, and the characteristics of dulling between fine coarse and dual grit. The reason that we're using these Victorinox knives is because we wanted, I wanted a simple steel. I wanted a simple steel without a lot of carbide because dual grit sharpening has to do mainly with what the steel, the matrix is doing. It doesn't have to do primarily with the carbides and the wear resistance that comes from those. The next one that I'm gonna be testing is this red handled one. I sharpened this up on Spyderco Ultrafine and then polished it on a block of pine that had some Mother's Mag and aluminum metal polish in it. It's one of the finest uh, or one of the most aggressive fine edges I've tested so far so I'm really excited to test it out. The original, I've got the original video right here. This is the amount of pressure it took to do the first five cuts and the best numbers after the first five cuts and the initial best numbers. If you guys care about the consistency of me doing one blade all the way through in one video, please let me know. It's just been easier so far to sort of batch them like this, but if you guys feel that that's not consistent enough for the integrity for viewers, I would be totally willing to reconsider how I'm doing this. Anyway, we've got a new method for testing on the best. I each of these knives, I'm, I'm sort of butting the front of the handle up against this little pedestal and then putting the blade through forwards. This one has already had five cuts done on it, so I'm going to do 30 cut increments. And I've got my glove here because historically, fine edges have not been very kind to my hand. So let's get started.
think a conclusion that can be drawn like drawn that's like a sizable pile of of rope there guys and i think two conclusions can be drawn uh this metal polish is a really awesome way to get a clean apex and also another conclusion that i think i'm coming to is that apex cleanliness how much you deburr it and how much you shape it effectively matters as much as the shape of the apex and dual grit is more of a it's more of a function of the shape of the apex it's less of a function of how clean it is but i think that um yeah how clean the apex is really really matters i am excited to test this dual grit that's been stropped on denim because i'm i'm hoping that maybe we'll have an edge that exhibits both characteristics at once and is maybe like a best of both worlds kind of option but we'll see i don't know this um uh, this Mother's Mag polished edge is cutting as enjoyably as the dual grit edge did, and that's a first among all of the fine stones. All of the other fine stones, like I'm wearing a glove because you've had to put so much pressure, so much pressure on the rope to uh, get it to go through that it's just been very unenjoyable. But man, this Mother's Mag edge is still, just look at that. It went into the board. It's like still so, so sharp. 